Hello to everyone. This is the second lesson about how to show Petralis Maya muscle on CC projection. The first one, this channel. More than once I stressed how producing a high quality mammography demands to position properly not only the breast but also the rest of the patient's body. In particular, showing Petralis Maya on CC view is one of the more difficult quality criteria to meet. In the first video of this series, we addressed the first three questions. Today's lesson is about these others. The thorax position related to the detector is crucial. Just one look at this picture is enough to understand how some kind of patient posture could make the correct breast positioning challenging, especially head, neck, Shoulders and thorax have to be taken into account. In case of low doses, there is an anterior tilt of the hips and therefore a posterior arch of the hips, which might be regarded as not important by the breast radiographer, but I'm afraid it is, because this arch is counterbalanced by a similar arch of the thorax, which makes complicated to obtain the correct breast geometry, which I remind you is to have superior and inferior quadrant parallel to each other and to the detector. We are more likely to miss superior posterior tissue. The position of the thorax is to be corrected. The solution, in fact, requires to get hips and thorax aligned. In kyphosis cases, shoulders and neck are bent forwards, and the muscles in this anatomy district are tight and stiff, so it gets challenging to properly position the patient's head and neck, and so the probability of producing artifacts on the image rises. There is also a forward hip rotation, which could be considered as favorable to show inferior deep tissue, but it is not, on the contrary, as you can realize just looking at the relative position of thorax and hips. Again, we have to align thorax and hips and straighten patient's shoulders as much as possible. Hips and thorax are aligned here, but thorax is not perpendicular to the detector. In the second image, the patient's neck is bent backwards, and this prevents documentation of the tissue. You can see also the epsilateral arm is backwards, and this prevents correct documentation of the outer quadrant. To sum up, First, thorax and hips aligned, thorax perpendicular to the detector. Second, neck forwards, head turned majorly, leaned on the shield. Third, check parallelism between superior and inferior quadrants and to the detector. Fourth, arm forward, this is important, and relaxed. Image one, posterior tissue documented more medially than laterally, as you can see from the shape of pectoralis Maya. So the thoracic wall is not on the perpendicular plane to the detector, as it is in the second image. The documentation of deep lateral tissue is proven by the presence of the lateral connection to the thorax as you can see. To show outer quadrant at its best, a lowering of the ipsilateral shoulder is recommended, but not too much, because this leads to a breast deformation and the missing of deep tissue, especially the medial part. Be careful to check the cantilateral shoulder too, they're not to be at a very different height uh, between each other. 
example of excessive lowering of the ipsilateral shoulder and production of an elongated shape of the breast, which is not real at all. Of note, the position that the pictorized Maya shifted laterally. That is to say, the position of the thorax is not perpendicular to the detector. In these images, you could see that, along with an ipsilateral shoulder too lowered, there is a rotation directed medially and, as a consequence, a loss of deep medial tissue. Worth noting, again, the position of pectoralis maya in both of them. And so, uh, the improper position of the thorax. The nipple. Uh, is not on the midline. We are, of course, talking about breast with outer and inner quadrant of the same dimensions. One of the quality criteria we talked about many times in the Artifact Series lessons is, in fact, the nipple on the midline. It is a geometry to be respected always if outer and inner quadrant are of similar dimensions. If they are not, the nipple will be naturally shifted towards the smaller quadrant, as you can see in this image. If then there is a dominant quadrant and it is not completely showed, well, this is one of the reasons why you don't get the pectoralis maya on the image in the CC view. An example in both images in the quadrant is well enough showed, let's say like that, with cleavage 2. The outer quadrant is dominant and in the first image was not fully showed. Missed tissue was recovered in this second image, together with the pectoralis maya. That is not complete actually. Another example, in the first image, the nipple forced to the midline, mistakenly, and the deformation of the breast due to a stretching directed laterally. There is a huge deep tissue cut off, especially in the lateral portion. In the second image, nipple is medial, because there it was naturally at a quadrant dominant, fully showed. Thoracic wall perpendicular to the detector. Showed on the image also deep lateral and medial portion of the breast. Well, here I tried to show you what a proper position would be like if we could see what's inside the breast and the thorax before acquisition. 1. Breast as it looks from a lateral point of view. 2. If I could see right through it. 3. As the breast should look after positioning and compression. 4. To get the correct image in CC projection. While it is all for today, I'll be waiting for all of you for the third lesson about Petra Maya in MLO projection. Coming soon. Bye!